in his office, me and Johnny, and uh, we, we knew that the team went on the trip about four years ago to Canada, and you can do it every once every, once every four years, so we went to coach, he's like, can we go on a foreign trip, and uh, he actually had it planned kind of already, but since his captains came to him, he was really excited about that and got the ball rolling for us, and uh, that's how it came to be. We were very excited. Um, I remember he brought us into the locker room. We, he told us at a team meeting. We thought we were in trouble for something, and uh, he ended up putting us on the board. He had the Coliseum, uh, the Vatican, us, and then he like had a little thing that we're going to Rome. And uh, we were all very excited and kind of pumped. And we're in the middle of the season, but we were still kind of like couldn't wait to go to Italy as a team and experience that. I would have to say, uh, actually, the Vatican City. There's so much uh, history there. Uh, the Pope speaks there. It was so pretty all the buildings, the architect, uh, we saw the Sistine Chapel. Uh, it was just really cool to uh, be there where like, you know, where the Pope always speaks and uh, have that feeling, so it was really nice. You know, Coach Greer kind of stressed with us on the bus that, you know, as part of uh, our responsibility is being blessed enough to be Division One athletes was to give back to the game of basketball. And one way we can do that is share what we've learned, share the experiences we've uh, been brought up with and give that to the kids and allow them to kind of just feed off of us and learn a thing or two from what we've been able to experience. It was really exciting. It was really cool to, to give back, you know. They do, the, the Navy does so much for us, fighting for our freedom. And I thought it was really awesome. We got to see the kids who live there and uh, help them work them out. They're really excited as well, seeing more Americans, another basketball team, you know, and uh, they had a lot of energy. It was fun to uh, work out with them, teach them a few things, and like I said, it was just great to give back uh, to the people who are fighting for our freedom. It was, just, it was just cool to see different teams, different styles, you know. Um, the Naples team, they're just a ragtag group put together, you know. It was fun going against them, as well as playing against uh, a little team in Saracola, another city. Uh, they're cool, a good team just trying to get better, you know, and then we actually played a basketball academy. It was really good. Had probably four or five D1 kids, strong, athletic, a couple professionals, and uh, they're really athletic and they're really strong. They hit us hard a lot. We, 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 none of us really expected it. It was a really physical game, but it's just like you said, a different style of play, and it was fun to finally go through that. Oh, the benefit's immense. Usually I start off classes anyway saying, I wish I could put you all on a plane and take you to show you you know, the ancient world, and this time I could do it. So we had at least uh, eight sessions before we went, eight classes here, and the students did a lot of research. They really were ready for what we were going to see, and I think their uh, satisfaction level was very high because when you study something and then you get to go see it, you're ready for not only understanding it, but you know what you're looking for. I really enjoyed and was looking forward to it. Um, I knew I was getting my upper division religion credit and that I'd be studying kind of the early first century, second century, third century beginnings of Christianity. So, um, you know, we had a great professor who really knew a lot about the subject and uh, it was fascinating for me to learn like where my faith developed and how first century it was completely different, how churches were of five to six people in a house, not in these huge auditoriums and huge uh, chapels that we see nowadays. And just how it's evolved throughout the years was, uh, it really helped my faith in a lot of ways too. Yeah, she knew she knew a lot more than some of the tour guides, which was funny. She was out there grabbing the mic and speaking to us on the bus, like, oh, we're passing this and that, you know, and uh, just giving us knowledge. And uh, it was really helpful. And a lot of guys really liked her. And she was a, she was a great person. I mean. Uh, she showed us a lot, and we're really grateful that she came on the trip. I think that um, because they're athletes, too, and because many of the uh, sites that we saw in Rome are actually sports venues from the ancient world, and we were looking at those in terms of, well, what was life like, and what was it like for the Jews and Christians of Rome, and how did they fit into these venues, and uh, what was happening in these places, and what did that say about the social structure of ancient Rome? and so on. So I think as modern athletes, that was very interesting to them. I thought this was an awesome uh, idea. I would definitely recommend it because it gave us kind of a purpose while we were over there. Um, you know, we, we were touring sites that had to deal with what we were learning in class as well as um, give us, you know, this, this background information that would help us be successful in the class. Having the practices in the summer as well as playing through games gave us an opportunity uh, to gel as teammates and understand how we like to play each other and um, kind of have that chemistry on the court as well as off the court. I'm going to especially enjoy the season this year and the next uh, four years because now I know so many of the players as uh, 
uh, as, as students, and many of them now are my friends, and I'm looking forward to it tremendously. Mm -hmm.